don't don't just enjoy the pieces and think it's cool. Think about the fact that this is something that you'll never experience again. That's how I feel every time I walk through the, the halls of the, of the museum. As you snap your photos and think about what's going on here, when you walk in those doors, you, we, I should say, really are experiencing a moment that will probably go down in the, not just the history of street art, but possibly in the history of art as one of the most important moments of the 21st century. We have the best of the best inside. It's really phenomenal and amazing that all these people have come together, uh, worked together, and had a great community. Reading about pop art, I saw that they were inspired by popular culture, advertising, cartoons. I said, wait a minute, people that do graffiti, a lot of us are inspired by the same things. And I went on a quest to find other people to become a part of a movement. I must say that I did not come to Los Angeles to tiptoe through the street. I didn't come to Pussyfoot. I didn't come to Dilly Dell. I didn't come to beat around the bush. I didn't come to lighten up. I came to tighten up. Check it out. celebrate in their own ways. So to me, that's already a success. One of the things that, that joins us all together is this sense of rhythm. And it's not just a dance rhythm, but it's an attitude rhythm. It's the way the paint is laid. It's the way the posters are put up. It's, it's like a feeling that you sense and you see, and you're gonna feel it when you walk into this, uh, into this incredible exhibit, which I feel, like Aaron said, is definitely one of the most important things that's ever happened in the history of art in America. And I got back up on this. <laughs> 